Hey guys, um, happy Friday. Hope you're all having a great day. Uh, I know I am at the moment. So here's my little video about mindset in sport. Um, you can watch it in a YouTube link and also I'm going to upload this to the story because we've only got a minute and I can't get everything in that minute because what I want to talk about is really cool and exciting. Um, I've been really busy lately with a couple concepts which you've kind of seen in a new launch that I've done but also a new one that's come in to you guys which isn't new for me is a sports specific program for young adults who are looking to become professional athletes or take the game to the next stage and and one of the main people that I've been training is Mehdi Ryan and he's a good friend of mine as well and we played together some years back um, so the conversation that I want to, the, sorry, not the conversation, the topic is about Maddie Ryan actually, because last week we were in the gym and we were doing a session and during one of the breaks we got into a conversation around moments in life that become a life or death experience. Um, I'm not sure how we kind of got onto it, but during the conversation Maddie turned and said for him life and death was being on the field. And as he said it, he looked at me with this look because he knows I like to banter a lot as well. But as he said it, I looked at him and said, you're completely 100% right. It is life and death for you on the field. That's that's your domain. Um, yes, life and death people have and there's people that are faced with situations which we understand. I'm not, I'm not trying to say you're literally going to die on the field. The point is the mentality that he takes on the field with the life and death is what's the difference. And that's that mindset that I want to get into. And... He also looked at me with the sense that he actually didn't care what my response would be if it was in a sarcastic way because that's what he believes in and that's what gets him through the door. And um, I think we can pretty say that he's obviously done very well in his career to this date. And applying that mindset is what's very, very, very crucial to making that next step up. And I think if you look across a lot of the most professional athletes, not just in, in sport but in general, have a mentality of winning and putting themselves on the line to not want to give up and want to succeed and push and drive and I think if you take the elements of a life and death situation what it what it's presents is that you're going to give everything that you can to survive and I think that's the point of what Matt is trying to say is for him he gives it all in that 90 minutes and every day at training as well um, and I know this for a fact because when we train he's he's the one that's asking me when can we train he's happy to get up early and dedicate himself to improve and that's a winning mentality and that's that's kind of the life and death moment of mindset. Um, and I think a lot of young footballers especially don't don't grasp the concept of giving it 100% all the time and not realizing how important it is. And you're actually one to two steps from fulfilling that void because a lot of you have great attitudes and I've seen that a lot. And there's a young boy that I'm actually training who's 18, 19 years of age. He's actually a very talented player um, who actually doesn't go out, doesn't do many you know, typical teenage boy things, but his attitude is right in that sense, but there's a little barrier that's not fulfilling and driving through that life and death moment where he's just given it 100% all the time. Now, there's a few factors around that which we've unlocked, which is great, and we're starting to progress with that. Uh, but I think the key for you all of you guys to understand is how do you guys apply yourself every day in training, every day in your sport? Um, are you going with a mentality of 100% knowing this could be a life and death moment, so you're gonna give it all and sacrifice everything to succeed to the highest level that you want. That's a very important message. Um, and it's great that I had that with Matty because I know him quite well and we all know he's a successful young footballer and goalkeeper. But getting in the mindset is so crucial and, and, and it's just not also about, yeah, I'm gonna give 100% life or death. It's, you gotta have processes as well. You gotta understand the logic behind your thought as well. So. What are your processes in place? Do you have the right concepts going into a training session or a game? Um, and that's something also that I'm gonna start to progress more through this new program that I'm setting up, which is going to be not just also about strength and conditioning, but it's a mindset concept as well. And it's two big components in sport that people are missing. It's not all about the skill on the ball. Um, funnily enough, you actually gotta have a technical strength or stability strength around yourself in order to pass the ball correctly or dribble or shoot. So there's actually a very big part of the game that strength is required and I think a lot of us miss that. Um, and I'm not talking about isolated gym work. And this is a very functional program that's tailored towards your individual needs but also your sport as well and the position you play. So there's really 
many factors are going to be coming. I don't want to get into the two details. I don't want to give everything away. I'm very, um, I'm actually very superstitious. So I like to just show a little bit, show what I'm all about, what we're doing. Um, but I'm really excited because it's going to be such a great educational piece for young footballers from the age, the age gap mm, around, I think, 10, 10 years of age can start, but we're targeting all the way up until pros and as old as you want to be to improve yourself in the sport. That's that's the key here. Um, and that's what's beautiful about this program. Uh, so this is something that I'm very passionate about. I've been doing it for 10 years now, eight years solid in terms of real specific to, to professional athletes. Um, and as I said, I've been training Maddie for a while and it's been great. He's really learnt a lot in his last few weeks since he's been back. Um, now he's gone back overseas to you know, start pre-season with his team. But also the mindset around, um, you know, she focused. And I think with the focus of having that mentality is also when is it a time to have a balance and switch off as well? Um, and I think coming up to the end of the NPL season with a lot of these youngsters now, you're coming into a trial phase and you're going to have new team potentially or retaining yourself in the, in the club that you're at so there's a lot of pressures around finding your feet again for the next season and you want to give it the best that you can so how are you guys mentally preparing for these moments because this is a big topic and i've had this chat with many 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 um parents and kids about how do i prepare for trials or a new club or a new season how do i become better um and that and that that those things is something i'm going to dab into a lot more with the program that i'm going to set up um because the mindset is very, very crucial to huge development as yourself. Um, but the program as well, about the physicality of side is very, very important as well. I think if you guys can understand how to fine tune yourself and improve your own ability, you're only going to progress on the field. And that's where this gap needs to be breached. And I believe I'll be doing that with um, this cool new concept. Um, so mindset, guys, uh, message from Matty Ryan, life or death give it all you can 100 percent on that field don't walk away with nothing empty-handed that's pretty much what it is are you guys doing enough of that every single time you got to ask yourself you have to be true to yourself are you really stepping away and saying you know i've given it all because if you haven't then you got to really ask yourself um a couple questions is is it something that you really want do you really want to become a professional athlete is your desire is your heart is your passion in it now, if all these factors are great, you've got the information, then you gotta take it next step and believe it and actually execute it with action. That's the next step, that's what's hard because you can talk about it and great and believe it and like the idea of it all, but if you actually don't follow through, it's gonna be hard to succeed. So very important guys, make sure you know what you want for yourself. But anyway, that's it, thanks. Any questions, please drop it in um, private or YouTube it up as well. Thanks guys, ciao.